your sobs. How do you do? Men call me Tumai of the Elephants. At one time, they called me Little Tumai, meaning no harm. But because my father was called Tumai also, so was my grandfather and so was his father before him. All Mahouts, drivers of elephants, there is no other such honorable occupation. Peterson Saab told me himself, he wanted to drive a railway engine when he was a boy. For that is the largest and the strongest thing in the White Saab's country. That is good. But for such as I, who are, what you say? Tough, it is not as good as the hunting and the jungle. For the wild elephant must be caught and tamed to carry, to draw, to build, to help his masters, to capture this wild one, the bravest of us men and the strongest of our tame elephants take the forest path and we track the wild head and we drive them over the hills till at last we have them caught in a great ring built of tree trunks which we call the stockade. Then we rejoice, we hunters and feast and it was at such a feasting that they gave me my name of Tumai of the Elephants in honor of what I had done. I and Kala Nag, that is, to him, his share of the honor. He's my elephant, a good one, the best in my soul. He's my best friend, and I am his. And here's the beginning of our story. Peterson Saab is in the town. He chooses elephants for his hunting. He will choose Kalanak. That is sure. 
please the gods. Oh, for four legs and a trunk, that Peterson Saab might choose me. Four legs and two long ears would fit you better, scatterbrain. A son that lives, breathes, dreams, nothing but hunting. May I come with you? When you take Kalanak to Peterson Saab? So that I may see him? The great hunter? Off with you. Wash Kalanag well. You may come. Acha! Quick, Kalanag, quick! Come on, my beautiful. We are going hunting. Up, up. Fellow. Make way for the 
Captain Sullivan. Since those thirty years, to please Peters and Sarp. They say he's the greatest hunter of them all. What's the hurry, Peterson? I tell you, I saw the great man himself. Oh, yes, he wrote me. I told him there wasn't a single darn wild elephant on the southern hills. I told him I'd go north. Oh, I told him what that would be like. There aren't words to describe it. What did he say? Oh, he said... Mr. Peterson, here we only have two words, success and failure. What did you say? Oh, I said, give me a free hand. Well, you're going to get it, apparently. Yes. Of course, you can have all the tame beasts you want for your drive. How many do you want? I want 40. But, man, think of the hire and the fodder. Yes, I shall be thinking. What will the government say? Oh, thank you very much if I capture half a hundred. If I don't, goodbye, Mr. Peterson. <laughs> So you see, Bob, I've got to gamble on it. He's a devil of a year for wild elephant. You ought to hear what Much Wapper has to say about it. He's your jammy die, is he? Yes. He's all right. Let's have him in. Come in, Much Wapper. Tell the Commissioner Saab about the hunting. Saab, it has been a strange year. How so? For six weeks, Saab, my men have been in the southern hills. Nothing. Nothing? No elephant, Saab, but plenty of talk. What do you mean, talk? Stories, lies, dreams of the jungle men. What sort of stories? All the elephant kind have gone, Saab. They've gone north for a great herding, as they do once in a hundred years. Poppycock. Even so, Saab. There are such old tales, Bob. And that's my gamble. More like your funeral, if you ask me. Well, I don't want to be late for it, anyway. <laughs> well, the men are here with the beasts. You can look them over when you like. Now. All right. Boy! Yes, sir. Summon the drivers. There's a bit of rubbish on his neck. Watch your back, Chala. Hey, 
Let's have a look at him. Which is first? Malaras! 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 What about her? She worked for Jackson Saab five seasons, and he said she worked well, Saab. Mm, all right, that's good enough for me. Right or done. Next. Juan Rai, Juan Rai, Juan Rai. Hmm, that's a tusker. Why is he chained? He's given much trouble, sir. Run a muck, eh? Please, sir. He's the strongest elephant in India. That's enough of that nonsense. You know very well you've no business to bring him here at all. The government heard of it, they'd have him shot. Take him away. You heard it, Prince Saab. Go. A magnificent beast. The finest elephant in this country, Saab. Ever run a muck? No, sir. Very good elephant, Saab. Very good worker. Sign him on. Oh, by the way, what's your elephant's name? Call a muck, Saab. Call a muck. And why did you teach your elephant that trick? The steel from the rooftops, green corn, eh? No protector of the poor, not green corn, melons. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he, your son? My worthless son, heaven born. And why worthless? Mad to be a hunter. Heaven help him. What other trick have you taught your elephant, little one? Mostly I learned from him. Oh? And how? He is so wise, sir. He has hunted tiger in Nepal and wild elephant in Assam. He has been in many wars. Even in my grandfather's day, he fought in Africa. Father says he knows more than all the... all the... All the what? All the wise, sir. <laughs> we must certainly learn from him. I do, sir. All about the elephant kind, by watching him, so that I may be a hunter. Oh, so you're keen, are you? Well, if you're a good boy to your mother, perhaps Carla Nag will bring you back a fine story from the jungle. Saab, he has no mother. Well, who looks after him when you're away? No one, Saab. Only the gods above and the gutter below. Listen, frog on the elephant's back. 
What sort of nuisance would you be if I let your father bring you along with us? Hunting sap? Uh -huh. Sap? I, I make fires and score bars and clean your boots and gun too and fetch water and kill snakes and move again. the den. Wash the rest and help the cook and... <laughs> that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Leave something for us to do. All right then. Get ready. We start at noon. We shall be there, sir. Salud, Kalanak, salud! <laughs> Machawapa, father, and Kalana. See, I break my dress before their face. Grant that I may be a hunter, Lord of all. Please. Take my poor gift. Grant Peterson's of good hunting. And I will never steal melons again.
straggler. Get back into the line there. But, sir, see what I found. See the little one. Hmm, very pretty. And I saw the wild pigs up and a great snake. You'd better look out or something will see you. Something hungry. Tiger, sir. And will the sharp shoot a tiger? I will find him. You will have fine skin, sir. Yes, well, you stray one more yard, my boy, and I'll have your skin. You're in the jungle now, and don't you forget it. This looks a good place for camping, much upper, if there's any water about. There is a fine stream, sir, half a mile away. Hmm, good boy. That's the makings of a hunter. Come on, much upper. We'll camp before nightfall. <laughs> I think there's plenty of straight young timber. I want you to build me the devil of a stockade, much upper. Big enough to hold a couple of hundred. Yes, sir. Oh, and send a jungle waller down to the village we passed to tell him to hold every man ready. I want every tracker and beater I can get hold of. The Saab's hopes are high. Hardly that. But if the South Country herds have drifted up this way, there must be a lot about somewhere. It's all or nothing. Lord, I wish I knew which.
It's no good much rougher. I'm through. Do not despair, sir. Do you think we shall find Elephant? There you are. Six weeks, day after day, we've combed this jungle till we know the tracks of every rat. There's not an elephant in it. We're wasting our own time and the government's money. We may as well face it. Yeah, we will wait for one more moon, Sarge. Oh, it's a wild goose chase. Even the least man in the camp knows it. Listen. Do they sing now as they did? No, they're too tired. They've no heart left. They go to sleep as soon as they've eaten. They know. They have ranged far, Saab, and are weary. So are you. Sleep now, and in the morning you will say, much or upper, we will try for one more moon. When the wild ones move strangely, it is the moon that moves them. All right, much rougher. We'll try it again. A bad year, my masters. A bad year. That is why the Saab draws the northern hills. And that is the bad country? It was never elephant country. Tiger's range. Wolf's country. Unless they moved here out of their own hills. That's what the jungle men say. And they know. Children, it is well the child should believe them. Peters and Saab believe them. When Machapa shook his head. Fear not, Saab, said I. It is so, I feel it. And if they should find them by some chance? to drive them over the hills full of ravines. <laughs> Bring down the river. <laughs> what tantrum is this? First, our Peterson said when he and I spoke together. <laughs> With such a hunter to lead us, friends, we cannot fail. Where is he? He's not very big from this side of the fire. Here he is. See one and all, our new leader. The, 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 the Saab's advisor, teacher Mashuapa, father and mother of all the hunters of India. Salam. You mock me? Mock you? Because I'd be a hunter. So you shall be. When? When? When you have seen the elephants dance. <laughs> What's the big joke? Peter's and Saab, they say... That you should be asleep. No, sir. They say I may not be hunter. Not till I have seen the elephants dance. Oh? Who says so? The other hunters. Well, Hop Frog, they know. They're not mocking me? Nay, you must see the elephants dance. <laughs> tell me, sir, where? I tell you, if I knew... No, if only I did know. You find a score of two elephants dancing and lead me to them, my boy. I'll make a hunter of you. Now, cut along. I'm busy. You hear Peterson, sir? Boy, be gone. Seek your father. Yes, sir. Have you ever seen the elephants dance, much rougher? No, sir. No one has ever seen them dance. It is just an old tale for children. Go to sleep. And dream not of hunting, it's a dog's dream. And mine too, when I was your age. Who's there? Two mice, Saab. 
Well, come in, Tobias. What is it? Tiger. Tiger? Where? Near the goat pen, sir. Anybody else know? No, sir. I waken nobody lest they should be afraid. Good man. You might have the whole lot deserting. Shall I call the hunters? No, rouse no one. I'll try and get him myself. Alone, sir? No, it's all right. Moonlight, clear ground. Then I go with you. All right. Come on. He dropped like a stone. Come back, man! Hey! Where is the tiger? Hey, where is the tiger? Get out of my way. This is men's work. Give me the spear. I'll give you a spear. You strike me, my father will strike you. I better go and find your father then. Father! What you are for? What you are for? Where is Peterson, sir? He's gone off to the tiger. Follow me. What's wrong? Father? Dead? Come with me, Hopfrog. Bring him to my tent, much water. Did it? Did it hurt him? For a little while. And then, did? It 
it's cruel. But what can I say to you? He loved you, and now he's dead. And you're all alone. All alone, sir. Save for him. Kalanag. He cries. I won't cry, sir. Cry if you want to. It helps. No, sir. He died bravely. And he would have you be brave, too. Is that it? Yes, sir. लोग सुधार गया है इसमें आपने चरना है चिन्नवास वाक्षिना पिछे सोख भर तोड़ी जो बोले सो निहाल business, Matrafa. The elephant may break his heart too, sir. Oh, the elephant? Nay, sir, but even now they fear he may break his chains. The elephant kind sometimes go crazed with grief for their dead master. What are we going to do with him? Here we are, faced with a big job. A job that's going all wrong. I'd give my eyes not to have to do it, but I can only see one thing. We shall have to send him back to Malcote. Mahout will take you to the schoolmaster, who is a good man, and he will look after you until I come down. And I shall sleep in a bed and be taught lessons? That's right. And Kalanag will be alone, grieving? Not so, but working, which is best for him, as it is for all who grieve. It is better to be with those we love, sir. But you can't work him yourself. So Ramlal must. Then Karlanag's hire will pay for your keep and his. He's still grieving, sir. And Ramlal is a bad man, sir. Now come, Hopfrog, that is neither sensible nor brave. What did you promise me? I know, sir, but... Farewell, heaven man. Only until the rains come. We shall all meet again. Cheer up, boy, cheer up. Anyone would think you were going to jail. Take heart, we're at your age. No sorrow lasts. You'll be all right. After all, nobody wants you here. You want me? Who? Colonel, don't you hear him? Master now, you old pampered beast. 
I'll show you. I'll teach you. You beast. <laughs> Wickedness. Will you bring Chem and all of us? What would father say? Fear nothing. I will not hurt you. Come, we are together again. Be easy. Be easy now. Again. Can I help you? Yes, you can. By getting out. I could bring your food and water. Get back to that murderous beast of yours. I wish you might both be shot. Yes, he must yes. be shot. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Shoot, Coroner? No. Ramla, you take him. He shall be yours. Mine indeed. <laughs> yes, he'll be mine. What his carcass will fetch. His tusks for my head, his hide for my ribs, and his feet for my foot. That's right. That's That's right. right. They make of them furnishings, brothers, that they stand in the halls of the White Raj. Mm -hmm. And they sell them in the bazaars of Bombay. Mm -hmm. The saw will not allow it. The law will demand it. Get out. That was in Peshawar. He has trampled a man, said the Colonel Saab. Let him be shot. What is it, Amai? Do not mock. No, no, I shan't mock. Must Kalanak die? It is only just. A beast's blood for a man's blood. But who's dead? Broken ribs and no more. We all know the sort of man Ramlal is. Were I the Saab, go Ramlal, I would say. Throw Kalanag down and break his ribs. Still, a man is above a beast. The White Lord must be just. He must but shoot him. 
or none of us are safe. He's better now. He'll be better still when he's had his cure. What cure? Lead pills, my son. Lead pill? That's the word. Lead pills. Come, man, compassion. Come, man, sense, or leave me. His great-grandfather owned the beast, and his grandfather and his father who is newly dead. Will you rob the son of his only possession? Haven't I been maimed? I'll have my reckoning. And a reckoning with me, Ramlal, when you're afoot again. Aye, if you were 20 years younger, out to old braggart, I'll have justice. He shall be shot! Well, how's the sick man? Oh. Pretty oh. bad, eh? If ever I may drive elephant again. Hmm. I heard someone calling for justice. For a shooting. Strong voice, too. You, I suppose, Bello? Yes, sir. So say they all. And you? It's the law. Now, oh, come, Ramallah, why don't you give up this claim? Your pay shall go on and I'll give you a hundred rupees extra out of my own pocket. His cock is worth thrice, that. Oh, that's yours. By the custom. Aye. He's mine. And for the boy, no mercy? All I want is justice. No mercy. And his father just did. What is that to me? Very well, then. In the morning, Kalanag shall die. It's the law. But it is also the law that I may choose whom I'll have in my camp. Is that not so, Matuapa? Yes, sir. Very well, then, Matuapa. Take three or four and bear this man on his bed outside the camp. Sir? Set him down by a water hole, a mile away at the least. Two, Saab. I will carry him the other mile myself. But, Saab, I can't walk my foot. What's that to me? Saab, the tiger shot. What if its mate finds me? You can tell her that as her mate served the father, so you served the son. You can argue it out for yourself as to who shows the most mercy. So, I'll take the hundred rupees. He's asleep. Sleep is precious, Saab. Shall I wake him, sir? No, no, no. Let him sleep. Bring him to my tent in the morning. Yes, sir. Hmm? Watch up. 
Bad news. Eh? I rose early, feeling restless, thinking of the boy and his beast. I went to see them. Well? Not there. What? Fled. How long ago? No dry print where Karanaga Lane. Dew everywhere. Sarp. Sarp. Hmm? What is it, Majwata? The boy has gone. Gone? What do you mean? He's taken his elephant and fled into the jungle, being scared by the talk of fools. Why didn't I wake him? Here, call our people, Machuapa. Get the trackers. Yes, sir. Rouse the camp. Prepare the elephants. There's a curse on this hunt, Machuapa. Things go from bad to worse. No elephants. The old man killed and now this. Shall we find him? I fear he fled soon after the camp was asleep, sir. Mm. It's three o'clock now. That means he's been gone over six hours. Yes, sir. He will have reached the big river. Bare tracking ground. Yes. If he's gone that way. Well, anyway, we'll find him if it takes a year. Poor little devil. I could wring his neck. Where are the trackers, Machuapa? There, sir. Where did you see the tracks of Kalanag? In the soft earth, down at the edge of the clearing. How do you know the boy was with him? Beside the prince of Kalanag, I saw the boys also. Right. Show me the place. Come with me, Machuapa. Yes, sir. Maro Michio. They will never find us here. Go to sleep. Go to sleep.
Mario.
I dreamt. But... But did I dream? Kalana, did I dream? <laughs> You shall not shoot him, Bob. You shall not shoot him, Bob. You shall not shoot him. Take your hand off my gun, you little fool. Give him one on the mouth. He deserves a good thrashing, Saab. Beat me, Saab. But spare Kala Nag. I will do anything. I will serve you, Saab, like a dog, all my days. Saab, you shall have many elephants, many, many. Spare me this one. Who said I'd shoot him? Ramlal said it. Did I say so? You will not shoot him, Saab? No. No? Oh, Saab, it is just for he took me. And I saw them, a hundred, and a hundred, and a hundred. What's this? The elephants, sir, at their dance. Dance? Some dream he has had. Fever? No dream, no fever. They shook the earth. They spoke like thunder. It is so, sir. Come, sir, I show you. Look, sir, there they are. Mm -hmm. It is a fortune, a wonder. Hasten, sir. If they move, they travel fast. Machuapa, take 50 of your men to the other side. When you've got them in position, fire two shots. Right, sir. Come on, Hopfrosh.
wanting a trade that any man can put his hand to it? Not so. We are, in a manner of speaking, chosen. Chosen is the word. For 40 years and five have I followed my law, the elephant. But never have I heard that any child or man has seen what this child has seen. By all the gods of the hills it is, what can I say? That they have chosen him. And I mocked, speaking like a fool. Truth without knowing. Stand around, all of you. Stand around here. Sir. Hunters, here is one who has a claim on you. What was their promise? That I should be a hunter. So you shall be. Nay, but truly. Give him to me, Saab. I'll make a hunter of him. Then take him, Machuapa, for ten years. But mind you, make a great hunter of him. He should be greater than I, even I. Much your upper. Truly spoken. Aye, aye, aye. He shall come to no harm in the Kedar as he runs beneath the big bellies to rope the wild tuskers. Aye, aye, aye. And if he slips before the charging bull elephant, that bull elephant should know who he is and not crutch him. Aye, aye, aye. Listen, my brothers, and you too, my lords in the line there. This little one shall no longer be called Little Tumai, but Tumai of the elephants as his grandfather was called before him. Aye! The elephant folks will know their master, for he has seen their dances in their hidden places. The gods of the jungle are with him. Aye, aye, aye my lords in chains. And you too, Kalanag, king of elephants. Give him honor, my lord. <laughs> My children, salam! salam! To Tumai of the elephants, salam! salam! All together, to Tumai of the elephants! Salam! Salam! 